Hey everybody, this is Rodney Watson. Uh, a lot of y'all know me. Uh, y'all know what's going on, and uh, so I want. But I want to take some time this morning and talk to you about the auction business and business in general. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, negotiating, competing, and most of my uh, not business experience, but my experience at what it takes to be successful in business is has come from the auction business because in the auction business they teach you to compete if you don't have a competitive edge with whatever you're selling the chances of putting it up for public auction and being a success if if you've told your seller what you can do for them and you've set them some high expectations if you don't have a competitive edge you're probably going to have a, a mad seller all right so I want to talk to you a little bit about if I was going to take certain things to auction. Uh, let's just say you called me into your neighborhood and you had a house for sale. And uh, it was an average house, not unlike the other houses around you. Uh, and you had a stadium in the backyard, okay? And you convinced me, or was trying to convince me, that your, your stadium was going to give you a competitive edge and that I should be able to get you top dollar for that stadium and that I could draw a crowd because you've got a stadium in your backyard. Okay? Well, I'd look around the neighborhood and I'd say, yeah, this is an average house. Three bedroom, two bedroom. It's, it's a nice house, but it's, it's got a little... A little shutter hanging off there, and a little rough air in the backyard back there needs to be cleaned up. But it's it's all in all, it's competitive on an average level. But they do have a stadium. See, I have to go back as an auctioneer and make an auction plan. I'd be sitting at this at at my desk, and I'd be saying, "They've got a stadium." Well, I'd have to look at that stadium and say, "Well, what's this stadium good for?" I'd say, "Well, it's good for drawing big crowds and playing ball games." And then I'd have to look around and say, where's the next closest stadium? Who are they competing with? And I'd have to look around and I, I might find out that there's a bigger stadium, a better stadium, 100 miles away. Right? And I might also find out that it's a better neighborhood 100, 100 miles away. A, a, a better place that people would like to come attend an event at that stadium, in, in that other person's house. In their backyard. Well, I'd have to put my proposal together as an auctioneer. And I'd have to go back to my seller and say, Now listen, you've got an average house here. And you've got a stadium. And, but as of right now, I don't think it's a competitive edge for your house. You're still looking at common prices, okay, to get for your house. Because, I know where the next closest stadium is and, and who you're competing with. And I have to get buyers in here to buy this house in this stadium that's in your backyard. I have to get them to buy into this. I have to make my buyer believe that your stadium is a competitive advantage for them to buy in. And this, this seller's probably going to get mad because they got a lot, a lot of emotional uh, uh, interest in this. Okay, I've had this happen before with, with different stuff, but but they really believe this stadium is a, uh, a a competitive edge. Understand? I'm trying to tell y'all something. Y'all y'all just pay attention. But I'm telling you the truth about how this would happen in a out of the way scenario. So, but my seller could even get even get mad at me, or my seller could say, you know what? There is another stadium up the road. It's not really a, com a competitive edge. What well, what if my seller was to say this? Well, what if I build a new stadium right next to my old stadium? Would that give me a competitive edge when I go to, to sell this property to a buyer that wants a stadium? I'd have to say no, because it's not about the stadium. It's about the average neighborhood. It's about the average customers you're going to be bringing to that stadium for the buyer of this stadium, who they can draw their customer from. And that other market over there where that other house is at and that other stadium is, they've got higher incomes. You've got a house here and a stadium in the backyard, but you don't have the incomes for your event 
creators, your event makers, your event producers, when they come here, they still going to be looking at the incomes of this average neighborhood versus the incomes in, in the areas where those other stadiums are built. All right? Now, me, me being an auctioneer, I'd have to tell myself that. Of course, let's say I wasn't an auctioneer. Let's say I was a grocery man. And this seller could maybe could go down there to the gross to me as a grocery man and tell me that he's got a competitive edge. And if I had enough money, or I could raise enough money from my friends or from people that's got me over their organization, I might would just buy his house with his stadium in the backyard, thinking that he's got a competitive edge because I don't understand competition because I'm in the grocery business. I'm, I'm, I my 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 understanding of competition is commodities trading. Pretty much beans and corn, ham, pork, stuff like that, apples. I don't sell anything as a grocery man that's a true unique item, you know. And if I don't sell a little bit, I can get rid of it and get some more in, you know. But as an auctioneer, well, then that's a different story when you come to me and ask me to sell your house with a stadium in the backyard. Because i got to be honest with you. Because I'm just going to be wasting my time and I'm just going to make you mad as a seller if I make you some promises about your stadium in your backyard and I can't deliver the goods on with a buyer. And I, I think we understand what I'm talking about here. I'm an auctioneer. I haven't bragged a whole lot about my successes. I've told you I've had failures. But when you have successes in your life, in business, you'll do it from a competitive advantage standpoint. Otherwise, if you're just selling common goods, you better compete on price. You better keep the quality as high as you can, but you got to keep the price down because you're competing with like, with like services or, or products. But when you when you're going to go do something big, and I think everybody should do something big in their life, you've got to get a competitive edge, or or you can't just replicate what somebody else has got. And just because it's big to you, if it if the other person has done it bigger. Than you originally, you ain't doing nothing big. You've got to compete with that other person. So understand this, when you come to me for auctions, and I'm fixing to do some more pages for auctions and some other stuff, but if you come to me for an auction, understand that I'm going to be looking at the success of our auction at what the competitive edge is, and if we can get a premium price for whatever it is we're selling. And I'll be up front with you. Now, if we're just selling common stuff, then I'm going to tell you we're going to have a little bit downward pressure on that. Okay? But the number one thing I'm going to be with you is upfront and honest. And, I'm, and I understand business. And we will look for the things in your organization or in your home that is truly unique. And those are the things that we will market to bring in the crowd to participate in our auction. And when the negotiations start, when the negotiations start, and I know as an auctioneer what our strong points are, we got negotiating power and we'll get a premium for that. When the negotiations start, and I know that we're just common, and we just have a common product or service to sell, I'm going to understand my position in the marketplace, and I, we're going to have to auction those off or bid those things off or market those things like you would any other common product. I mean, we, we can't just sit around and pat, pat ourselves on the back and pump ourselves up and say, oh, we got the greatest whatever it is in the world. And actually, when you look around the region, it's just common. We have to know. We have to compete from a position of strength and strength is what you know about what you're selling so when you come to me for an auction and you've got a stadium and somebody else has got a stadium it competes better I'm going to tell you but now if you have an antique car one of two in the whole country and the other guys is not up for sale well then we've got a competitive edge if you come to me and you have a point out on a river a river house and everybody sees it, it's one of a kind. Oh, that's a competitive edge. And that's the things I like to look for when I'm running an organization for you. We're going to look for those one of a kind items that we can compete with from a position of strength. We, we want the things that other people don't have. And those will be the things that we pat ourselves on the back and brag about. If you put me over your organization either to do auctions or other things, these are the things that we'll do to grow our market. This has been Rodney Watson. We're going to be speaking with you some more coming up. We've got some rules that we got to abide by that 
I wasn't aware of. Y'all know what this is about. But understand this. You put me over your organization. I'm going to take care of it. And we're going to take care of that organization from a position of competitiveness. And we've got competitiveness down here on the river with these river lots and these creeks and streams. I can market that stuff for you. I can market that stuff for you because they're unique to us. And that's a draw for us. We have a lot of land down here on the river side of the, of the organization. We have a lot of land. That's unique to us. We have a lot of interstate set. A lot of new interstate coming through here. Like I say, I'm having a hard time explaining this to y'all. The organization that I'm wanting to run for you, we have some uniqueness about us. And we've got to market it. And that's where we'll grow our organization. I hope you understand this today. I appreciate you taking my time. I can negotiate for you. I've been in a lot of negotiations. But we have to negotiate and compete from a position of strength. Thank you. This has been Rodney Watson.